Let's go over how to create the closing entries from the adjusted trial balance. So when accountants sit down to do the closing entries, they actually look at that adjusted trial balance. So if you think about the worksheet that we've created, you have the unadjusted trial balance, you put in the entries, and then you have the adjusted trial balance. And from there is where the closing entries actually happen. Okay, so you need to look at your adjusted trial balance and go through the process of closing the revenues, the expenses, and the drawing, keeping in mind that everything is going to get closed into that capital account. All right, so the first one is going to be for June 30th, and we will close the revenue account. So we have income from services. That's our revenue account and has a credit balance of $12,170. So to close it, we need to debit it. So income from services, we're going to debit it $12,170. And then we will credit the E. Larson Capital, $12,170. Okay, the next thing is to close all of the expense accounts. So remember, we know that to close the expense accounts, since they all have debit balances, we'll need to credit them. So these are all of our expense accounts. Okay, I am going to put the placeholder in as capital for the debit, and then I will go through and I will close all of the expense accounts. Okay, so I have entered um, the closing entries for all the expense accounts, and then I'm going to put the total here of all of the expense accounts, so that they all go into capital. Remember, I like to use my auto sum, I just think it's easier. Okay, so there's all of our expense accounts closed. And the final thing we need to do is close our drawing accounts or our drawing account. So you know that that's going to go into capital. And to close drawing, it needs to be a credit. And it is in the amount of 1500 Okay, so once all the closing entries have been made, accountants need to generate what's called a post-closing trial balance. So we have the unadjusted trial balance, the adjusted trial balance, and now the post-closing trial balance. The post-closing trial balance shows all of the accounts that are open. Okay, so it is not going to show revenues, expenses, or drawing. It's only going to show the accounts that are currently open. Okay, so we go ahead and we start creating this. So we have cash. And we're pulling the information from up here down into the post closing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and complete this. And I will be back with you in a second. All right, so I put them all in. Notice that I did not include any of the drawing income from services or expenses because they're all closed. And then I have my capital. Now, my capital from the adjusted trial balance to the post-closing trial balance has changed because we made all of these closing entries into it. So we cannot take this number, this capital number. We have to put the new capital number after the closing entries. So to do this, I'm going to just pick any random cell in Microsoft Excel and use it as my calculator to calculate the new balance of capital. So I'm going to say equals to tell the computer we're going to start doing some math. I'm going to click the original capital amount from the adjusted trial balance. Okay. Now, the first closing entry was a credit to capital, which means it's going to increase the balance of capital. So I'm going to put a plus sign and click the credit amount. The next closing entry is a debit. So I'm going to put a minus sign and click the debit amount. And the final closing entry is a debit. So I'm going to put a minus sign and click the debit amount. So I see that the number, the capital account balance 
after the closing entries have been made, after we have um, increased with all the revenues and decreased all the expenses and drawings is 42,170. So that's what I'm actually going to put in here, okay? So again, it's not this original number because that's the adjusted trial balance number. Once we do all the closing entries, that number again changes. I will then come down and I will auto sum my two columns. And if I did this correctly, <laughs> we never know. They should balance and they balance, all right? So that's how you complete the closing entries, taking them from the adjusted trial balance and then ending up at the post-closing trial balance.